Everyone, Mark the Statman Scavage here for the second annual Ball for Peace with the one and only H2O. Now, your second year H2O, great success. The place was packed. You scored about 90 points. You were close to that Will Chamberlain record. Uh, what, what's your take on the turnout and how everything went? Man, the turnout was beautiful. It was everything I expected. You know, I worked really hard to get people out. I did, like, so much more promo than I did last year. And I think because people knew about it last year, they were anticipating it for this year. And we, uh, you know, we exceeded our expectations. Yeah, the people that missed it last year didn't want to miss out yet again. And this one, uh, another great year. You had the kids come out for the first game, and your team won. Uh, did, you, did you were you involved in any of the training there? That we'll call the H2O team, but were you involved in any of the training or? Oh, that's, that's those, those are my kids. Okay. Uh, so my kids was playing another uh, uh, Almighty Force kids, and um, we 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 won that game, and um, it was pretty dope, man. I, I I wasn't able to coach them, but my assistant coach yeah. coached them to victory. All right, you got to hand out the MVP trophies over after yeah. that game. And no handing out the MVP trophy. You can pretty much hand it out to yourself after, after the other game. You, you were out there, uh, NBA Jam style, the announcer was saying, I, I saw you hit three three-pointers in a row. Did you practice extra hard for this one? Oh, well, last last year I wasn't able to play any basketball coming into this. I tried all week. I played a couple of games leading up to this, so I did work, I did work out and I did work hard for the event. And, uh, and it came out a success, but I did work on my game and I did train and play for this game this year. Got to let people know in case they didn't know last year, you were coming uh, through with authority this time around. Uh, what else do you have coming up? I know Bowling for Peace isn't just basketball. You did football, you did bowling. What's the next event on this year? Um, so I have another, I've been getting into music and I've been um, kind of helping out my boy Graf and kind of managing him and stuff like that. So my next show is the Queens Get the Money uh, concert at uh, Black Thorn on March 3rd. And then we also have uh, a concert in South by Southwest with Graf and friends out there in uh, Austin, Texas. Nice, nice. A lot of things going on in the Bowling for Peace brand. Uh, great performance, great event. Uh, glad to be a part of it yet again. Uh, H2O, thanks for having us here on Real Fans Real Talk. Oh, guys, o always a pleasure, and uh, you were definitely balling out there. Thanks a lot, man. Maybe next time you'll get the Will Chamberlain record. I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try. People always say, hey, man, how do you do so well in your own event? I mean, I just flew out there and play and have fun, you know? Were you supposed to not do well? I mean, are you supposed to tone it back a little bit? You got to let, let people know what it is. You had Skyscraper out there scoring some points, too. It seemed like a little unfair advantage, it seems. I saw Anthony Mason Jr. on the other squad, so it's not like you stacked it too unfair. They had a stacked squad as well, but, um, you know, it's kind of even. And you see it in the score. It was a tie game at the end of the day. We, we weren't able to finish it. We wanted to get some of the performances in, but it was dope, man. It was dope. Yeah, last year was an overtime thriller. This year I thought it was going to be another overtime thriller, but we ended it off in a tie. Some people didn't like that, but it was a great performance all around, great basketball, and uh, they got to see some great rapping and uh, everything else that comes along with Balling for Peace. Yeah. Are we going to have a slam dunk contest next year? We might. We were supposed to have a three-point contest as well, but, you know, the time didn't permit us to do that. So, um, you know, I have the trophy, the three-point contest. The real reason was they heard that I was entered in the three-point contest, and then they were like, let's just give him the trophy because that's it. You just water all day like you. you know? I mean, it would have been a little bit of a battle if you were in it too, but you weren't in it, so it was pretty much hands down, give it to me, and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what would have happened. All right, well... <laughs> All right, well, once again, I had a blast here on the second annual Bowling for Peace. If you missed the first one and you missed the second one, you know you got to be there at the third one. But uh, once again, Real Fans, Real Talk, Mark the Statman, Skevich here with H2O. Great event yet again, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for having me, Bowling for Peace.